I hate my wife, but I may never get a chance to divorce her. Before you jump down my throat, let me give some backstory to this situation. I, 28 male, have my wife, Amber, 28 female, and we've been married for the last 10 years. Today, I woke up in the morning, grabbed her out of bed, showered her, wiped her ass, fed her, and then sat her inside of her favorite chair with her favorite show playing. My wife, for all intents and purposes, is a shell, a body of the person that she used to be. A year and a half ago, my wife got into a tragic car accident. She got hit in a T-bone collision going 75 while running a red light. I stopped loving my wife two months ago. And I know what you might be thinking. It was because she was in a vegetable state. No, that was not it. I still loved my wife inside of that state and took care of her every single day. I still take care of her every single day. The reason I hate my wife was because of what I found in her phone. I was going to do a collage of our relationship and put it inside of our room to show how commodorative we are together. All the trips we took together, all the places we have been, everything we have visited on my dime because I loved her and I cared for her and I wanted her to have the best things in the world. Well, when I went into her phone, I kind of saw some messages from the exact day of the accident. It pretty much was, hurry up. Where are you? I need you right now. I'm on the way. I love you. I had trouble getting away from him. Who's him? I'm him. I looked at the phone and I was shocked. I've never seen this name before, but after scrolling through the messages, I saw pictures. I saw videos. I saw things that I couldn't even get her to do with me. In Barbados, I couldn't even get her to do with me. In Japan, I'm, I'm sitting there like, wait, we went all over the world. And, and, and you did this next door? You did this down the street? You did this a block away? Okay, this is ridiculous. So I had to see who the man was. I had to find him. I had to know where, where, who was this great man. And I went to his page and I saw, I saw. <laughs> He was inside of a relationship. He got into a relationship two days after my wife's accident, after the lady that he was smashing on got put into a, a military situation, got, got vegetabilized. Like, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Somebody that loved you with all of their heart that would take care of you every single day while you were sick, you don't love, you're not there for, you won't do these things for, but somebody that will leave you two days after your accident, somebody that won't give a second fuck if you're okay after your accident that's the person you love so you know what her favorite show is every single day i sit her down in front of the tv and i show her that he didn't give a fuck about her and i make her watch as he is mm. Mm, mm, mm. what would you do taking care of somebody who can't take care of themselves is a, a huge responsibility i had to change my son diapers when baby shit on themselves is cute when an adult shit on themselves is a problem you feel me? After finding the messages and knowing that you was getting somebody else was uh going balls deep inside of you, that's going to run through my mind when I got to change your shitty diapers. Every time I got to pick you up and give you a shower, I'm going to think about how you was sucking his dick. I'm just, be I'm just being honest with y'all, man. I don't know if I got that in me. Personally, I feel as though how you would have reacted when she was able to walk and she was able to wipe her ass with the Charmin, that's how you should react now. If you had caught those messages and those videos, oh, he caught videos too, Jesus Christ. He caught videos too. It's one thing to like imagine somebody going balls deep in your woman. It's another thing to see videos of the actual act. Yeah, I'll, yeah, 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 yeah. For your for your sanity, you gotta leave. You can't be in that type of situation. I know, Brad, yo. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. I know this chick, right? She gotta take care of her husband right now because he paralyzed. The reason he paralyzed is because he had to jump in front of a bullet for her. But here's a crazy thing. Before they got married, while he was her boyfriend, she used to send explicit videos to one of my friends. I'm talking about she used to send videos of her opening her coon You know what I'm saying? She used to send videos of her playing with herself, bro. And we used to look, we used to watch them videos while she was with this man. So eventually they went wherever they went, somebody tried to rob them, 
and the dude was about to shoot her and he jumped in front of the bullet for her. I always think, because I see, you know what I'm saying, she they always post, she always posts about him and his and his vegetable state and all that. I always think and wonder if he had known that she was sending videos to other dudes of her like you know playing with herself and doing all this like sexually explicit stuff if he would still jump in front of that bullet for her i don't know i don't know if he would have done that crazy thing is man I, would you jump in front of a bullet for your girlfriend now or your wife now the world is such a shaky place you just never know what's going on behind your back you know you just have to go on faith like you have to trust people on faith and that's what the the hardest thing about a relationship is is trust and once you somebody breaks that trust it's over but imagine somebody finding out that but imagine finding out that the person broke the trust after something life-changing may have happened to you or may have happened to them imagine jumping in front of a bullet to save your girlfriend or your wife and then a few years later, while you're crippled or, you know, you can't clean yourself, you can't do nothing for yourself, you find out that they were cheating on you. That would be a hard pill to swallow. That would be a hard pill to swallow. I was looking at this video the other day. The, dude, the, the, the dude's wife asked him, would you die for me? And he was like, no. And she said, but don't you love me? He was like, yes. And then he said, but... I've loved myself longer than I've loved you. And I said, damn. That is a, a deep response. I've loved myself longer than I've loved you. Because I'm going to be honest with you, right? I never really asked myself that question, but I would imagine that if any type of harm were to come close to my wife and I was in the vicinity, I would do everything in my power to protect her. But it wouldn't be more so me protecting her. It would be more so me protecting my family. It would be more so me protecting my family. I would not want my son to grow up without his mother. But at the same time, I would not want to be without my wife. Because I love, I love my wife, man. I know niggas are going to be like, oh, you a simp, lads. You a simp. <sighs> I guess I'm a simp, man. I guess I'm a simp. All right, you guys, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Squad.